Greetings, and welcome to another Lessons with Odin. On this episode, I will be showing you how to make the Shooting Star Bracelet. Sort of, with alterations. I first made this in my Alter Ego piece as a transition chain, and I really liked it because I figured out a way to use these stars, because I had a whole bunch of them, and nothing to really use them for. So, you also don't have to use the Swore Off Sea Stars with this piece. But it kind of reminded me of a shooting star if I hold my arm the right way. So it's really cute like that. But um, I have some clover shapes that would probably look really cute in this. Uh, butterflies. And I'm going to show you today using rondelles. So, it's a very interesting piece. Right now I just have five in a set with a band. But feel free to use more or less spikes depending on what your preferences are. And if you make some variations on this, I would love to see. Feel free to join our Facebook group. I will leave a link for that down below. It's basically a lovely little community where we talk about beady things and develop inspirations for a bunch of our beading projects. So I will leave a link down below and I hope to see you there. Now I'm not sure if when I'm posting this video if I have the PDF pattern for this up yet. Um, but I will leave a link to my crafty shop down below so you can check out my current PDF tutorials. And this one is in progress. And I do believe I'm going to be making a Skillshare class with this as well, so be sure to check out my Skillshare lessons as well. I will leave a link down below. So for this piece you will need as many bigger beads as you need. I'm going to be using 6mm rondelles in this time. I might have to do a little compensation for it, um, but that's easy enough to do. You can use the Swarovski stars like I've done, or you can use some other shapes, or you can even use probably 8mm rondelles would be good with this as well. It's just a matter of doing a little bit of tinkering. But I'm going to show you how to do it with 6mm rondelles, because I know these are on the cheaper end of the spectrum. You will also need spike beads. These are 5 by 13 millimeter spikes, so these are like the medium size spikes. Um, you can use the larger spikes with this, you'll just have to compensate with the amount of C beads that you use, and you might want to use a bigger bead above it. So feel free to try that out and experiment, and please show me, because that would be cool. I love spikes. I love spikes a lot. You will also need 3mm round. You will need 2 for each spike bead that you will be using. Minus 1. So for example, in this bracelet, since I'm using 5 spike beads, I needed 4 sets of 2. So, so I'm going to need 8 3mm rounds total. I'm going to use 2 4mm rounds to go on the ends of each bracelet. You will also need size 15 seed beads and size 11 delicas. And also a clasp or whatever you plan on doing with this. You could use it for a necklace chain, just make an entire necklace out of that. That would be fantastic. And of course, your needle and thread. So let us get started. And I'm going to start off my chain by adding two size 15s, one 4mm, two size 15s, and two delicas. I'm going to move that down, leaving a bit of a tail. And it's entirely up to you what you would like to do with that tail. You can work on the other half of your bracelet with it, or just leave it be and attach a new thread. Once I have them down to the length I want, I'm going to pass my needle back up through them all, so that we form a loop. Then I'm going to tie an overhand knot using my tail and my working thread. Once I've done that, I'm going to pass my needle back up through the two delicas to make sure I'm where I want to be. Then I'm going to add two size 15s, one spike, two size 15s, two delicas, two size 15s, one rondelle, two size 15s, and then I'm going to pass back through the delicas that I started out with. Forming our first connection. I'm going to reinforce this all the way around by passing through all the beads. This also helps secure things in place, so if you have a really flat bead that you're working with, like the spikes or the stars, they will sit together nicely. Once you've finished reinforcing, you want to end up with your thread coming out of the two delicas. Then you're going to add one 3mm, two delicas, one 3mm, and pass back up through the two delicas on your chain. You're going to then reinforce these beads once more. Then, coming out of the two delicas on the far side, we're going to once again continue another spike link. We add two 15s, one spike, two 15s, two delicas, two 15s, one rondelle, and two 15s. Then we pass back through 
the delicas on our chain over here, where the rounds are. Once again, reinforce and end up on the delicas on the further side. Put on another pearl segment by adding one 3mm, two delicas, one 3mm, passing up through these delicas here, and reinforcing. Repeat in this manner until you have run out of spikes and rondelles. End up with your spike segment and don't add another 3mm pearl next to it. So once you are done with your chain, you will be finishing off and reducing it to a workable width. So coming out from the set of two delicas here, I'm going to add on two size 15s, our other 4mm, and two size 15s. I'm going to pass back through the delicas. Reinforce and then end up through the 4mm bead. Next up, I'm going to add two size 15s, two delicas, two size 15s, and pass back through the 4mm bead. Reinforce, then end up back through the delicas here again. And we're just going to basically repeat those steps. I'm going to add two 15s, two delicas, two 15s, and pass back through the delicas on our chain. Move over to the delicas on this side, and then you're going to repeat that chain until you're done with your entire length of bracelet. To finish off, I'm going to add my clasp and six seat beads, and then go back through the two delicas at the end of my chain. And that will anchor your clasp in. If your hole on your clasp is a little bit smaller that you can't get 15s through, you might just have to add three, then your clasp, and another three. But it's essentially the same path. Then you're going to reinforce this once or twice to make sure it's nice and secure since it's the clasp area. Then end your thread. Then you repeat for the other side, and hopefully you will have a full bracelet with a clasp. So yes, enjoy this piece. I hope you guys do some fun things with it and vary it to your heart's content. Add more spikes, add less spikes, change up the bead shapes up here, add bigger spikes. It's all up to you. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't wait to see your guys' creations. Please feel free to share with them at our Facebook group. There's a link down below for that. And if you're interested in learning more, feel free to check out my PDF tutorials on Craftsy and my Skillshare classes. I'll leave a link to that down below. There's a special deal on referral codes for 99 cents for your first three months of Skillshare, so be sure to check that out. And yes, thank you guys so much for joining me. Be sure to tell me what tutorials you'd like to see next. And of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time.